Yeah, my neck was hurting for the first two days, bro. I go home like, man, my neck is killing me. So, you do. I, do you, you feel hotter at all when you're wearing those? Hotter? Does it feel like it holds the heat in? Nah, I don't feel hotter. I just feel it's like it's just heavy, man. Yeah. yeah. How do you like, like the look, like, like the look your up? Head and track and put the ball. Like, how, how does it come into play with that? Nah, it doesn't affect you at all. I don't think it affects you. I mean, once you get past the first days of, if I was in off season with the cap, I would have my helmet in off season, but I didn't have the cap on it. If right. I had that, I'd probably be fine. Now it's just. This is adjustment. It's nothing, you know. I think now we all adjusted to it. Any consideration to wearing that in, in game? Nah, man, I ain't putting that on, man. I, I'm not putting. I can't wait to take it off, honestly. How you like the look of them uh, when you see other guys I, in them? I don't like them. Yeah, I don't what, like. Them. What, what's first uh, set of one on ones like with the DBs, and how you think you guys did today? Uh, I think we could be better. Obviously, you know, as a group, we want to win every rep. So I want when I look around, I just want to see us win, 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 win. So. Um, I didn't see you know us winning every rep, but I think we could get like I said, you know, we all just got in the shoulder pads. Our wiggle is not you know there. These guys want to really just clamp onto us and hold. But uh, I thought we did pretty good today. I mean, like I said, we want to work on moving guys. So tomorrow, I know, you know today we're gonna go in there and look at it and. Uh, we need to work on our releases better. What do you feel about the intensity today? Uh -oh. Kind of getting a little heated there. I love that stuff. <laughs> That stuff make it easy to come practice because you just, you know, you don't want practice to just be lame and chill. You don't want fights, obviously. You know, we're teammates, but that brings the juice. You know, it shows that, you know, we got a lot of, you know, competitive people on both sides of the ball. And, you know, offense might be getting after them, defense might be getting after us. And, you know, it just shows, you know, that, you know, we got some dogs on both sides. And I, I do like that, though. I do. Can't have softness on the, you know, <laughs> in the trenches. I think everybody's different, and I think it's been fun uh, seeing us all grow and melt together throughout this uh, OTAs and now going into training camp. What, what will be, a, I guess, a successful camp for you? What, what do you need to do to kind of feel good about yourself at the end of this time? Uh, just go out and do what I can each day as far as try to execute and have fun, and I'll be fine. Do you have a chip on your shoulder at all from like, lack of opportunity? You seem like you're really confident in your abilities, and now you're you know, kind of getting more opportunity to show some of that confidence and ability in camp and you're shining. So do you kind of have a chip from previous, like you told me the other day, you haven't seen much, right? And you haven't played a lot of football at this level. So like, what is your mentality coming into this year as far as that's concerned? I mean, you just, everybody has a different story. I mean, all you can do is control what you can control. I mean, there's guys in my class that played a lot of football. I've only played, started three games. So, I mean, that's all the tape I have. So you only, what you put on tape, so. I mean, more than anything, I've just been growing and try to keep getting better and stay down until I get another opportunity. Where does that confidence in you come from? Have you just always had that I mean, part of your part of your life at the, in your football career? I mean, it comes from upstairs. I mean, God's blessed me with disability and this platform. Uh, it's on me to, you know, use it and try to glorify Him, and and that means working every day, even if you don't get the sign. That means working every day if you feel like it's not paying off. It's working every day until you get an opportunity, or just continue to work because you have the you've been blessed to work. Is it hard to not let doubt creep in when, like you said, you don't get opportunities to shine? But you know you're of shining, and, and how I guess has that mental that for you? Keeping yourself confident and energized every day. It's more. It's not even doubt. It's more coming to work still trying to do your best and coming to work still trying to make sure you're trying to get better more than doubt. It's not really doubt because you go out and do what you do every day and we come to practice. Nobody sees that, but you try to do the best you can within, you know, the boundary of practice. And that's enough for me, you know, going out there and having fun and competing against the guys. And until you get an opportunity, that's all you have. At least I'm helping those guys get ready for the game, you know. Um, just try to keep all the details down, and then when I get out there, just bring in all, all I can. All the aggressiveness, all the physicalness is the biggest thing with the technique. So um, just trying to dominate the right side. You talked about finding ways to move your body. That's making me think of like yoga and stuff like that. Are you working on mobility, flexibility? Are those the kinds of things you're talking about? Yeah, that's part of the recovery, but um, you know, just the speed, the angles, the way you move, and um, you know, can move your body, your legs, and everything. How are you, how are you working? Uh, just being more efficient with them, like maybe coming out a little, we all come out like 15 minutes early and sometimes work a little late with each other and everything. So just little things like that. I've been getting a lot of uh, false starts okay. on that right side. Tell me, like, how did you, I'm losing my train of thought, how comfortable are you right here on that side? Um, throughout like the last year doing the scout team and then the jumbo tight end where I was flipping sides, that helped a lot, you know, being able to work at the right side and the left side. So. 
worked a lot on the right side in the off season, and then even in the individual drills, we're working both stances. So feel pretty good on both sides. Absolutely. Um, and I, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but um, just not being a rookie anymore and being able to just breathe um, and be myself when I'm out on the field, uh, I think that makes a huge difference. What do you think about the physicality and, and the intensity first day with pads? Uh, the boys were coming. They were, they were coming hard. Uh, but, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it, it, was, it was good to get out uh, first day pads. Uh, a lot of things to improve on, um, myself and the whole offense included. So It builds a uh, slight confidence. I know this is day one, so I know we got to keep going and uh, build from that. So uh, confidence does boost, and, you know, you get to, get to get a little bit of trust from other teammates and stuff like that, trust with the little coaches and stuff. So um, that's, that's, that's all you want. How much different you feel this year compared to last year coming here as a rookie? I feel a little bit more comfortable into the, into my role. Um, I know last year we had a different system as far as learning the game plan. So uh, with what Denar has as far as the playbook and stuff, I'm, I'm definitely holding on to that and, and sticking to what the details and what the coaching and responsibilities are. And as far as knowing what to expect from day to day, I mean, you feel a lot better about that knowing it's a marathon, not a sprint, I guess. Yes, yes, yes. Just take it day by day. I know this is the first day. It's hot. Everybody's uh, blood's boiling. Y'all seen uh, that everybody's uh, going at each other. But, um, yeah, you just got to take it day by day and just continue to harness on the, harness on the details. So, yeah. With you here taking advantage of opportunity, it's always a thing, right? Mm -hmm. Availability, best ability. You've been able to do that here early on. How do you kind of continue that um, and not try to look too far ahead? Yeah, you just got to go with the next man mentality. Um, I know coaches, I know players go down. I know coaches uh, just say, hey, go go get in. And you just got to make the best of your opportunity. So uh, with that being said, he just told me to go in there and I, I want a good play and then I came right back out. So uh, I know I just got to wait my turn, wait, my, wait, wait the course, and, and hopefully – Good things still provide. We haven't got to talk to you a lot, but mm -hmm. how have you enjoyed Denard Wilson, the style, and, and how do you feel like you fit that? Yeah, very, very aggressive coach. And I know if y'all talk to him, he, he says that he wants to be nasty and aggressive. So uh, that's that was my detail in college, being nasty and aggressive. So, I mean, I guess he, that's all the players that he has recruited and he's wanted. And if you're on this team and you're on this defense, you got to hone up to that, that uh, responsibility of being nasty and aggressive. So, yeah, I think I played good. We came in late to the scrum, but mm -hmm. how does it feel to have a good day like you did today? Uh, it feels good. I mean, uh, I know it's just day one, and I know that um, – this is this is a step one. So uh, with that being said, I just know I got to keep up the good work and bring it on tomorrow. I know Nashville Suns coming out. Nashville weather is a uh, very very bipolar, but um, hopefully we get good weather and it, it, it allows us to be where we need to be and, and be good. So.